Piano man. He's still alive. Oh, sorry, Bert. Robert is not here. He is Damn it. It's not here, man. This is where I put it. This is where Grant came in and hit me over the head. I figured he'd come back here. Obviously he did. Yeah, and I guess Rockman and I followed him, huh? Question is, where's Grant? I don't know, man. I did. I was so sure he was on our side. Yeah, well, if he were, he'd have hung around and handed the disc over to us. Yeah, well, all right. How do you explain this? Oh, internal DVX squabble, personality conflict. Maybe neither of them could share the spotlight together. Well, either way, I figure Grant's got the disc. Probably halfway back to the DVX by now. Two minutes earlier, and maybe we would have had him. Scorpio. Warehouse. My boy there yet? Nope. All right, send him right after you radioed. Should be there any second. In the meantime, I just got a report from the harbor master that might just interest you. At this point, Bert, everything interests me. There's a boat docked at Pier 32 that's been coming in at 4 p.m. and leaving at 5 p.m. every day. He didn't think anything of it the first couple of days, but now it's back. And considering the timings of everything else right now, it sounds like a little more than coincidence to me. Sounds like a possible escape plan. Listen, you say it's still docked there? Yeah. Want me to check it out? Yeah, listen, I'll meet you there. Bring reinforcements. Wait a minute. Can I come to What about him? Oh, 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 is he my response? Uh, Just in time. Did Ramsey send you? Yes, sir. Cut this guy and take him in. Right. Let's go. Let's go. You recognize her? Yeah. yeah, that's one of the people that was holding us captive. Right. Me too. This is one of my original microphone contacts. Oh, yeah? Can we search her? Yeah, come on. Let's do it quick. Right, go for it. <clears throat> Wait a minute. All right. What? What's this? Is that a microphone? The original microfilm half. Alright, that means that she could have had the disc. Yeah. Well, on its way back to the DVX, possibly until. Wait a minute. Until enter Dr. Putnam. So, he missed the microfilm, huh? Well, maybe he didn't care about it. Maybe he didn't know who had it. If he's on his way back to his country, what the hell does he care, right? So, what does that tell you? That means he's still here. All we have to do is figure out where. Somewhere in Port Charles, man. Some the rocket. That's it. All right, we made it. Right on schedule. 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 Whatever. Grant got the disc back to the expo. Just in time. Hey, I told you, didn't I? He's been on our side all the time. He has. Oh, oh, oh. Spectacular! This even beats that 4th of July display at the club. Yeah, I'll bet you could hear that halfway to Canada. Certainly is quite a show. Oh, not a bad view either. I'd say we had front row seats. I tell you, it's a lot better than fireworks in Indiana. <laughs> Best view in Port Charles, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> now I know why you insisted that I wear this wrap. I have chills up and down my spine. <laughs> oh. I gotta run, I'm sorry. I gotta go to work. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Can't believe it. They must have gotten the disc back. Apparently. Yes, I wonder how. Oh, well, there's only one way. Grant? No, I won't believe it. Of it, Martin. Well, Dunning, it's a great trial for the U.S. 